anyone would think I wasn't his older and better brother. Henry! Here goes. Well, come on then. I'm not doing this on my own. Yeah. Ah, Henrietta. Hello, great aunt Greta. Happy unbirthday, Henrietta. Oh, uh, thank you, great aunt Greta. They're toffee tongue twisters. Toffee tongue twisters? Cool. My favourite. Thanks, great aunt Greta. You're welcome, Henrietta. It's not easy being the little sister of a teenager. Too right, it's not. Mwah. Mwah. OK, now, where's the darling birthday boy then? He's, uh, he's waiting for you in the living room, Ruby. I say, OK, you Henry. Yep. I say, OK, you too, Steve. I say, my fave, OK, you Henry. Yeah, well, my fave too, OK, y'all. OK, you Henry. I say, are you going to give a chat one, Henry? <laughs> no way. Get your own tongue twisters. These are mine. <laughs> Stuck up, Steve. Oh, just put them over there. Oh, uh, you can go now. Thank you. Come on, Henry. Time for some party fun. Fancy a bit of pre-party snacking before the party fun? Peter a lovely birthday. Oh, right. Lovely present. Lovely Peter. Yeah, right. Lovely Peter. Lovely if I could come in, Henry. Oh, uh, yes. Come in, Miss Lovely. Lovely, Henry. They're all in there. Oh, lovely. with the little people. What do you mean? Well, it's like this, you see, kid. When you get really famous, we don't have to act with anyone else. Well, I still don't understand. Doesn't it make it really difficult for... For the little people? Well, yeah. I guess it does. But who cares about the little people? I'm going back to my nice warm trailer to wait until it's time to do my big scene. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, Henry, come back and check out my new video game later. 
I got the film people to give me a brand new computer, and now I get to fight myself. Fearless versus fearless. <laughs> cool, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, cool, fearless. Let's find out what's going on. I told you, I'm not a lovely lady and you can stop calling me sweetheart. All right, keep your ear on. Now let's try it one more time, shall we? Sweetheart. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr Sixth Assistant Director. Action. Do I hear someone in trouble? need it one more time to make sure we're covered. You're fired! You what? I said you're fired! No! I am not fired! I quit! So there! I hope Fang's gonna be okay. Next. Hey, Henry! Are you going to be in the movie, sir? Looks like it, Henry. Apparently, I'm a dead ringer for Loose Laser Larry. Ha! <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? I'm dead. Next. Oh, <laughs> must go. It's time for my close-up. <laughs> it's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. <clears throat> oh, Henry. <laughs> How nice of you to join us. Get out your reading book, Henry. You are lucky enough to be invited to Margaret's extra special VIP sleepover, my house tonight. P.S. No boys allowed. What? Did you see something, Henry? Uh, no, Miss Battleaxe. Ouch! Stop it, Henry! And ah! what, may I ask, is this? So, Henry... It seems that you've been invited to Margaret's sleepover. Uh, yes. I mean, no, Miss Battleaxe. Well, Henry, I would be inclined to believe you, as it does say here, no boys allowed. Phew! But on the other hand, you were in possession of this invitation, and that means you are invited. Whoa! Think of it as your homework, Henry. What do you mean? Well, tonight, Henry, you're going to be an honorary girl. <gasps> and you can tell us all about it tomorrow. If you survive that long, Henry. <laughs> no! Oh, I think it's so nice that you're going to Margaret's sleepover. Sleepovers are such fun. Yeah, they are. The ones without girls. Oh, don't be silly, Henry. You're going to have a great time. Now, let's see what we've got. Cool. Are they all for me? Not so fast, Henry. These are for you to share with the girls. Great. I knew it was too good to be true. There. Now, ready to go? Oh, this is so exciting. Well, if you're so excited, why don't you go then? Don't be horrid, Henry. Now, off you go and enjoy yourself, or else. This could be the worst night of my life. The more observant of you will have noticed that I left the house with two bags, but now I only have one. Well, you didn't think I was going to waste good snacks on that beetle brain, did you? This could be the last time you'll ever see me, so perhaps we should say goodbye now. After all, we've been together for a long time. Come in, Henry. We've been waiting for you. Oh, uh, right. It's been nice knowing you. Well, 
have fun, everyone! Bought any snacks, Bogey Brain? Yeah, any snacks, Bogey Brain? No, Bogey Brain! Why not, Bogey Brain? Yeah, why not, Bogey Brain? Because, Bogey Brain! <sighs> well, get on with it, Bogey Brain! Get on with what, Bogey Brain? Yeah, with what, Bogey Brain? Your VIP sleepover! Bogey Brain. Yeah, your VIP sleepover, Bogey Brain. I. Oh, um, oops. It's so easy being me. I'm Horrid Henry. Whoa! Henry? Henry! Henry! Whoa. Henry! Henry! <laughs> Go away, worm! You're spoiling everything! It's my turn! Mum said you've got to share! Mum said! Mum said! <laughs> Don't be worried, Henry! Stop that at once! Henry won't let me play with the box! Henry, I told you to share the box with Peter. And don't forget, Miss Lovely will be here soon to talk about the school play costumes. Miss Lovely? Oh, goody! Let's make the box into a little cottage just for her! Now, I'm just popping next door for a minute, so Henry, behave! Oh, we could um, cut out windows here, paint flowers and... No! Don't you touch my box! It's a time machine, you toad! Is not. It's made of cardboard and a new washing machine came in it. If it looked like a time machine, everyone would try and steal it. Don't you know anything? It's in disguise. No! It's top secret! Well, if it is a time machine, then I want to have a go. You can't. You're too young. I'm not. And I don't believe you anyway. Then watch this. I'll prove it's a time machine by travelling to the future. Stand back. You don't want to get scorched by the Vortex Blast. I don't believe you're going to the future. Whoa! The Vortex! Ah! Into the future! Henry? Have you really gone? Wow! It really is a time machine! <laughs> what if he is stuck in the future? What if he never comes back? I could watch whatever I want on TV! Whoa! <gasps> Where am I? Henry? Peter, I've been to the future. But you're old. Yes, I went to the 23rd century. I met my great-great-great-grandson. He still lives in this house and he looks just like me. So he's ugly? What did you say? Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, uh, what's it like in the future, Henry? Horrible. Uh, I mean... Horrible! It's so easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry! Where has the worm put him? I'll do all my homework after I've cleaned my cello, Mum. <gasps> Look at all this mess! did it. You stole Mr. Kill. You've been waiting to get back at me. For what? Everything! <laughs> Mom! Henry's being horrid! We'd have got first prize in the Sandcastle competition if you hadn't started blubbering. Mom! And that's not all. What? 
It's a perfect day, not a cloud in the sky. The birds tweeting softly as their wings flutter by. Not even a thank you for that flying lesson. Oh, and what about your birthday? <coughs> we never did find Stinky again. All thanks to you, you snivelling toad. So, where is Mr Kill? Mum! Silence, worm. Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'll have to use force. No! <laughs> no! Did anything but that! What have you done with Mr Kill? I haven't touched him on it! Mr. Kill? Please, I don't know! Last chance! <laughs> <gasps> what have you done? Tell them, Peter. Confess! Not Peter, you, Henry. Me? He's the thief! He took Mr. Kill! No, he didn't. I know he didn't. Well, who did then? I did. Of course. I should have known. You cleaned my room, didn't you? That's when you took him. And I know why you took him too. Because you want to blackmail me into being good like Peter. That's it. I have had enough. Hey, this is my investigation. Let me go. Let me go. There's Mr Kill. No one stole him. I washed him because he was smelly. Oh. How could you accuse me of stealing your teddy bear, Henry? And how could you accuse your little brother, too? And your father. And me. You, young man, are going to stay in your room for the rest of the day. What? And you can pay for poor Peter's cello strings with your pocket money. Now go straight to bed. What about Mr Kill? He's staying right there. It's so easy being me. I'm Taking places for the three-legged race. The three-legged race is about to begin. Where's your partner, Henry? I um, um... Margaret, you're Henry's partner for this race. What? Hurry up! It's about to start! On your marks! I'm in charge, Henry, and I want to win, so you'll do exactly what I say. Get set! No, I want to get sent home, so you do what I say. You reckon? I reckon. This way! No! This way! Ah! Ow! Ow! Oh! This is more like it! Henry! Oh, Henry! Stop that at once! Ow! Oh! Henry! Henry! Oh! Henry! Stop! See, Margaret, I told you we wouldn't win. That's it! This race is cancelled! Oh, and Henry, you horrid child! If you think I'm going to send you home, you're wrong! You are here all day! The rest of you follow me! <laughs> You'll pay for this, Henry! That's the trouble with sports day. Brings out the worst in people. Don't worry, Ted. The eggs are hard boiled. <laughs> Ready, get set, go!
This race is also cancelled. And nobody moves until I find out who brought those eggs. I can't tell a lie, Miss Battleaxe. Well? It was Peter. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. <coughs> we could get a babysitter. No, we're going out as a family. <coughs> He's got the car keys again. Henry, I'm coming in there. <laughs> Henry, no, not the toilet. He wouldn't, would he? <sighs> you didn't see that, Peter. Right, let's go. I can't wait. A chance to try new things! I love food. Well, um, all except beetroot. I love food too. Well, all except squid. Oh, and Dad doesn't like tomatoes. Well, I don't like anything except Whoopa Whoopi Burgers. I'm not going! That's that! All right, Henry. Here's the deal. You come along, behave yourself, and eat everything on your plate, and I'll give you two pounds. Just for shoving a few mouthfuls of disgusting food in my mouth. Normally I have to do that for free. How about three pounds? Don't push it, Henry. Okay, deal. What's my reward for being good? Goodness is its own reward, Peter darling. Huh? It's very nice of Aunt Ruby to invite us to dinner at Restaurant La Poche. It won't be as good as Whopper Whoopi. They have real food. And your cousin Steve will be there too, boys. Oh, no! Not stuck up Steve! Steve's my favourite cousin. Where shall I park? We park, sir, unless you happen to be the chauffeur. Darlings! On oh, Ruby! <laughs> New car, Ruby? Oh, I'm not sure, darling. All our limos look the same to me. <laughs> What make is your car, Henry? Rust Bucket 2000? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that! Yes, isn't it fabulous? It's carved completely out of ice. I didn't think you'd be coming, Henry. I'm getting two pounds for eating everything on my plate. And I'm not getting anything, because goodness is its own reward. Huh? Be, Be quiet, quiet, worm! It's so easy.